when a smartphone arrives at your door in a box in this kind of condition, you really hope that there's a rugged device inside. Well, fortunately, if the spec sheets are to be believed, this is one of the most durable devices you can get from Samsung. So let's see if it survived the rough treatment of our friends at UPS. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active. Let's unbox it and see if it's intact. Okay, so this is the box in exactly the condition it arrived in from uh, from UPS. So I want to say thank you for AT&T. Thank you to AT&T for sending this to us. Uh, it, it's not AT&T's fault that it arrived this way. Hopefully, this rugged device survived this apparently rough passage. So the first thing we see is a quick start guide before even seeing the phone. Put that aside. Hooray! No shattered display. Oh, and we got a color. This is not the urban gray version we were expecting, but the dive blue. Oh, that is impressive. Wow, wow. Vocabulary fails me as I look at this very, very shiny dive blue phone. This phone also available, once again, in urban gray and orange flare. I'm going to put it aside for a second and uh, see if what else is inside the box here. Let's see. Samsung um, has bundled in some literature here. Now you have nothing to lose. Upgrade to the Galaxy S4 Active. Uh, Samsung Smart Switch, that's what this is, a cloud-based solution that they're advertising as well as uh, texting and driving. It can wait uh, drive mode from AT&T. We'll look into that in a future video. USB app. cable in white, very nice, and the Samsung charger we are familiar with. Anything else going on in here? No, just decrepit, blown-out cardboard packaging. Let's get it out of here. Okay, so coming back to the Galaxy S4 Active itself, I'm just going to drop it on the table here and put it next to another rugged device that we happen to have on hand. These don't meet exactly the same standards for durability, but they are definitely serving the same market segment. This is the Kyocera Torque from Sprint, the push-to-talk enabled rugged phone that we reviewed uh, a few months back. And you'll notice there is quite a difference here in, in thickness in overall size and the entire design language is different. That's not just because these are coming from different companies, it's because until now or until recently, manufacturers have not really focused on durable device, uh, making dur durable devices resemble uh, their flagship counterparts in either functionality or appearance. See, this is very, very <laughs> clunky, very, very brick-like. The Galaxy S4 Active is actually not, so that is a very interesting change of pace. Okay, once again, we have the microphone positioned and we have the AT&T It Can Wait campaign. Good reminder there, do not text while driving. It can be fatal. Let's get this screen protector out of here. Beautiful thing. That panel is uh, the size we were expecting. This is a five inch 1080p display. Not AMOLED this time around, a TFT LCD instead, but uh, maintains that 443 PPI very, very high resolution, especially for a durable device. Let's take a tour around the hardware. Taking a look around the phone, still can't really get over this awesome dive blue color here, but let's uh, take a poke around. You'll notice that the capacitive home and back, or excuse me, the capacitive back and menu keys have been replaced with physical buttons down here, flanking the uh, always been physical home button. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a close up there for you. Now that is handy as we were talking a little bit about the Pocket Now Weekly uh, on the Pocket Now Weekly podcast today. Always nice to have physical buttons on a phone that can go underwater. And yes, this phone can spend some time underwater. It is rated to IP67 standards for immersion, meaning it can survive in up to a meter of water for up to 30 minutes, if I recall correctly. This is a, um, a sticker talking about how to best protect the device, firmly seat the battery cover and USB cover before use. So obviously this device not relying on a nano coating for protection, but on keeping water out of the casing. There's our AT&T branding on the back, the flash. Camera has taken a step down from the 13 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S4 to an eight megapixel camera here. And there's no, you'll notice on the Kyocera Torque, we have this nice, uh, coin operated slot almost to seat the battery door in its gasket that is not present on the s4 active it just looks it feels like a uh, a regular roll battery door it's not even that it's not even that much thicker it's, it's fascinating at any rate i'll uh, we'll put that aside here's our battery 2600 milliamp hours not 2000 milliamp hours there was a slight error on tony's part but we can forgive him that uh, from London because he shot something like two 1T videos or 200, if I'm not sure it felt like. Anyway, we'll go ahead and replace the battery cover here, seated properly, and then we'll look for that USB cover. There it is. 
Here's our, here's how we clear that. Make sure that water stays out of there by reseeding that. And it looks like it's on a little rotating hinge. It really feels quite, quite low profile, almost flimsy for something that's supposed to keep water out. But uh, we will see how that works. Some exposed screws here. Power standby on the side. No physical uh, hardware camera button. But uh, as I think we saw from London, you can uh, trigger the camera using the volume keys, which are on the other side. There's our headphone jack. Nope, right there. No cover for that one. IR port, you can still control your TV remote from here. And we'll go ahead and see if we can power this device on. Press and hold on power standby. That's a two megapixel webcam up top, I believe. And underneath uh, driving this experience is a 1.9 gigahertz processor, uh, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, but there is micro SD as always. There's our AT&T splash screen blowing out the frame with its brightness. And uh, this is available if you're interested from AT&T as of today in the United States. It's $199.99 on contract or $594.99 without. A little pricey, but maybe worth it if you are someone who needs a rugged phone and doesn't want to sacrifice too much in terms of features and specs. We're going to have a lot more on the Galaxy S4 Active, but for now, there is your unboxing. Folks, we have a lot more on the Galaxy S4 Active here on YouTube, including Anton Dinoj dropping one in a tank full of water in London at the Samsung Premier 2013 event. Go check that out. It's a good time. But before you go, leave us a like here if you enjoyed the video. Drop us a comment if you have something to say. We'll try and get back to you. And please do follow us on our social media sites and subscribe here on YouTube. Until next time, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Media sites and subscribe here on YouTube. Until next time, thank you for watching. And we'll see you again. And we'll see you again soon.